Among them is industry giant uh, Vail Resorts as well. Now, joining us to discuss how big a deal this is is Kevin Coop Cooper. He is the director of marketing and communications at Lake Tahoe Television. Good to see you, Coop, this morning. I know, looking at your hat, it is dumping snow. Tahoe has had a pretty minuscule ski season here in terms of snow. It, this, is, this is your your biggest storm of the year going back till, what, uh, Thanksgiving. Talk about the timing of this closure and the snow coming down here in Tahoe. Yeah, you know, Paul, it is. It's, it's, it's very challenging. At 4 o'clock yesterday, uh, Vail Resorts, Rob Katz put out the press release that they were going to cease operations at all their North American resorts, including Whistler up in Canada. And right behind that came the letter from Rusty Gregory talking about Altera ceasing their operations as well. Right as we started to see the snow starting to pile up along the crest and then down here at lake level. In the last 24 hours, 33 to 36 inches along the crest. 24 inches here at lake level, and this is great snow. So it's a blow to a lot of people. It's a blow to the local economy. Um, it, it's just super challenging. In my 56 laps around the sun, I don't think I've seen it. But I will say I absolutely agree with their decisions. It's something that we all need to get behind, spatial awareness, and that was their challenge. It was the lodges. It was people getting inside, especially during snowstorms and huddling together. That was probably the main reason or the catalyst for them to close their, or shut down their operations. You know, I've been reading comments about this and people are saying, hey, you know, I'm out here, I'm skiing this big mountain. I'm not, I'm never sitting close to a person, but you, you mentioned it. It's going inside, having lunch, trying to warm up, whether other, a couple of hundred people, even at lunch, trying to find a seat. I guess that's when you kind of violate that person, that, that social distancing, and that could potentially even put even one person at risk. That is a risk that I guess it's good to see that corporations aren't willing to take. Yeah, you know, and, and I've talked to a couple general managers in and around the lake, and that was their biggest challenge. Up at Sierra Tahoe, John Rice was trying to figure out the spatial awareness in their small lodge, and they just could not do it. They even had a challenge up at Kirkwood Mountain Resort where they did move the tables out, but people still huddled around. It, it just, we need to change our habits right now until we get the bell curve down on this coronavirus, COVID-19, then things can start opening up. This is a temporary right now, like Vail Resorts announcing they'll reassess on the 22nd. However, uh, we don't know at this point in time how long that bell curve will go up, how many more people will be infected with this and what the challenge is. So we need to change our habits. It's great to see in the snow. It's great for the water tables and fire season coming up. We're supposed to see two to four more feet. But right now we've got a big challenge because people will start going into the backcountry and today is not the day to go into the backcountry. Let's talk about that because, you know, you can't go up the mountain on the lift, so they climb up. And it's all about expertise because the avalanche danger is high right now or all across the Sierra. And that could actually increase as the snow continues to fall for days. Yeah, that is definitely. So the Sierra Avalanche Center issued their advisory today, and it is high. It hasn't been high since, like you mentioned, back in November. It's been considerable and mostly low and moderate throughout the season. This is a lot of snow in a short period of time, 24 hours. People are going to try and access the mountains and start climbing up. The other challenge is the mountain operations teams aren't going to stop. The ski patrol at their different resorts out there from Squaw, Alpine, Sugar Bowl, Kirkwood, they're going to be up doing avalanche mitigation because you can't just let it build up on top of the mountain. So they will be throwing charges. People should not go up on the mountain. If you don't have backcountry education, do not go into the backcountry. It's going to be a challenge. Hey, and Coop, what about all the employees? I mean, from people who help park the cars to, you know, I know people work in the offices, they're full-time employees, but will people get paid during these shutdowns? You know, that's a great question, Paul. And, you know, Jerry, if you go to any of the websites, including the Vail Resorts website or the Mammoth or whatever website you go to, Rusty and Rob Katz spelled it out on how they're going to take care of their employees. I believe that they're going to get paid through their contract because at the end of the month is when they'll be closing anyway at the end of March. So I think that they will. But go look at that, those press releases. That's where that information is. The fine details are all in the press release. And real quick, Coop, about 20 seconds left. Will the ski resorts kind of recover from this? That is a great question, and I do think they will recover. I mean, the ski industry is very resilient. We've been through multiple drafts here and there, so I think we will. The challenge is we'll have to wait, watch, and see. All right, Kevin Coop Cooper, thanks so much for joining us, and enjoy the snow that's coming down there with you and your new puppies out there as well. And